Hey Sagittarius Seeker, welcome back or anew to the Existential Shift. My name is Morgane, super happy to have you. These are messages for your October. These are your messages for October. Sometimes we want to say one thing and we find ourselves saying another thing. Maybe because actions speak louder than words and we need to speak less, do more. King of Pentacles. Hardworking, dedicated, devoted, practical, earthly. It can be a Capricorn, Capricorn energy. Money is on my mind. I got money on my mind. That requires work. Work, 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 work. Another king, king of swords. Who do we want to cooperate with? Who can help us reach our goals? Page of swords in the reverse, five of swords in the reverse. Someone is being exposed as their true unreliable self. As I said, actions speak louder than words. Page of swords in the reverse talkative, communicative, um, sharp, sarcastic at times, but academic, knowledgeable, um, witty, sometimes over talkative. This is all the negative aspects of it. This could be gossip. This could be, um, this could, could be false intentions, words that are bigger than the action. And five of swords in the reverse, it's like, no more conflict, no more debates, no more stifleness. And this is stifle sometimes. So this is the exposure of it, the end of it, the had enough of it, especially next to the King of Swords, who is way more mature than the Page of Swords in the reverse. He's more mature than the Page of uh, Swords as is, most especially from when he's in the reverse. Lots of swords here, by the way, lots of um, communication, lots of thought, uh, lots of uh, air energy but the first card that came out was very strong earth and that's the guidance for October after that I have three air cards two of which are not so positive and in the reverse the one that is positive and standing upright strong and firm is the king of sword who is the master of the sword element and he's very truthful very honorable very reliable this is a very reliable energy this is a very non-reliable energy mm, already drama sagittarius <laughs> let's see deeper into this oh we have a third king in the house king of wands okay okay all right, it's, I, and it's like the King of Rod, the King of Wands, and the King of Swords both looking towards the King of Pentacles. For like, okay, what now? So maybe you're, um, you know, the King of Wands could be you because you're fire, but not necessarily. A group of people where they are kind of looking towards one individual for guidance, for stability, for uh, direction. Could be a group of people, one of them going astray or, um, you know, that present themselves as to being unreliable, untrustworthy, and then the other members of the group are like, okay, sorry <laughs> if I hear here that is like, there. Um, and the other members of the group are like, sorry, mate, you can't, you can't keep acting this way or you kept doing, can't keep going like this. We just, you know. You need to step up or out or be out. Okay, just you can just see it. But step up or get out. We don't want to fight anymore. We don't want to argue anymore. We, we don't want to battle anymore. Enough. And these kings are standing really firm. This could also be a child acting out, by the way. 
that you're trying to bring back, you know, the focus. Three kings. Whew. Three of wands. And the empress. Nice. Things are looking up. Okay. So there is this divine feminine or, fem or feminine entity um, or energy that is very, very abundant, benevolent, beautiful, um, giving, talented, gifted, all the, the, the meter, you know, the empress. She's the goddess of life and nature and creator and creation. She's the great mother. Um, and all the other characters here are all masculine, all males. The three kings are, you know, they're very impressive. Obviously, they are kings and they are the master of their own element. But still, none of them matches a goddess, you know, a major arcana. Most especially not a minor or a page. So it's almost like there are a lot of... How, how am I going to word this? Um, beneath her. This is beneath me. That's what I'm getting. Step up. Not enough. Oh, this? Ugh, I'm not even talking about this. The direction is good. There's progress. But it's not even close. And someone here is really stepping up and taking ownership on on their life, on their creation, on their energy. I, I need to see more to know more. I think I have the direction in mind, but dear cards, spirit, energy, show me more of this story for Sagittarius for October. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, by the way, Venus, um, whoever resonates with this. If you don't resonate, you feel free to watch your other placements. In your natal chart there will also be the extended so okay <laughs> night a lot of people i have one two three four five court cards and there is a total of 16 court cards It kind of brings up, you know, uh, the middle, the, the middle ages or the medi medieval ages. I'm sorry, where you have queens and kings and knights. Um, well, obviously, the tarot originates from that culture, so it makes sense. But I just have all these characters on the table, and all of them are like they're people, and she's a goddess. So I'm trying to understand: Are you the goddess, and you have all these people around you, and you're like, oh? Or are you one of those trying to do something with this um, energy or for this energy? This, you know, on the surface, it seems like he's turning her back, his back to her. But intuitively, I'm getting like a knight that is protective. Like, also see, she's holding this armor. Very medieval, very... Also, even we can go back uh, further in time and in history. This is very... Um, Camelot and the Knights of the Round Table. It's just like there's a sense of honor or need for honor or expectation to live up to your word, to honor your promises. It's like because there are so many things, so many energies thrown out into the air right now. So many people coming and presenting themselves and be like, I'm this and I'm that. And she's like, uh, Another night! You see me mixing the deck, right, Sag? You see how they're falling. This Empress has bodyguards. Wow. What is going on here? Okay, card spirit. Let's let's see more. Can't make this up. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. So at least it's a minor, but hey, the tarot deck, all of them have both male and female characters, and all I have here is male figures except for the Empress. And not only she's a major arcana, she is the Empress. She's like the embodiment of the divine feminine, of Mother Nature, of life. 
So still all of these together don't come up to that. And yet they're all around her. This could be someone trying to approach this individual and these two are like, nope. Uh, show us your credentials. <laughs> show us what you got. Okay, four of pentacles, two of cups strength. Okay, different energy finally. A lot of material people kind, um, not this, not to get material energy and a lot of people. So October feels like it's going to be a very mundane month of just doing a lot of things and communicating with a lot of people and trying to execute all kinds of things and um, having either cooperations or agreements or ideas trying to execute certain things, a lot of opportunities, but which one will come about and turn into something productive. And in the midst of all that, there's also love, a soul connection, connection of the heart, really wanting to be on your right path, on, your, on the path of the heart, in tuned with your, you know, in synced with your higher self, really wanting to resonate and bounce off someone else's um, mirroring, mirror of you. But there's also a lot of fear and holding on to the known and really trying to handle all this. I don't even know what this is, Sagittarius. Please comment. But there's a lot of like trying to um, plant seeds and invest and, and check check different potentials of different opportunities and different options and different people will come to you with different things and, and, and but it's almost like the only thing that matters between all in all this mess is this the strength two of cups the empress the power of love silent love what we're willing to give, what we're willing to receive. I'm really sorry if this reading uh, and the interpretation feels scattered or sounds scattered. I am expressing the energy. I am an expression of the cards. This is the energy I'm picking up from you guys and from October. So please don't blame the messenger. Watch your other placements for something a bit more uh, or different or some sort. But let's see um, how this you know, evolve. This will require your patience and your stamina and really stepping up to the plate and being a bigger you. There's a lot of attempts to be a bigger you, but I still don't have a male dominant major kind of character, the kind that steps up to the plate for the Empress. There's another very strong feminine energy The strength card, highly creative, highly intuitive, gentle strength, a lot of charisma, a lot of influence, quiet influence, and there's a lot of nature bound kind of energy here. The need to harness your energy or someone in your life needs to harness their energy and empower themselves and remain in their power. Last month's reading was so, um, for you guys, I remember was so focused and, you know, it was clear. And the reading before that was also a, a mess, scattered, really scattered. So it's like, what was in the past month in September that gave you the opportunity, the promise of longevity and stability and focus and, and serenity, and then went all ballistic again? 
and then got all scattered again. What is it? Is it ego? What is it? Is it needing to be right? Is it needing to have and to control? Is it the fear of losing and then exploding? Is it putting your seed where there's no room for them to be put? Where there's blockages? Look within Sagittarius strength card. Look, look inside. You can only look outside. You can only understand the outside once you understand the self. Because when you don't understand yourself, you will always look at your environment with somewhat cracked, foggy glasses. So if the self is not in clarity, then everything you will look, you know, the glasses that you will look through will not be clear. So the, the vision will not be clear or distorted. There's a lot of focus on the mundane, what people say, what people think, what people do. What did this one say to me? What did this one offer me? What did this person do to me? But those energies that are the most powerful one on the table, by the way, those are energies of looking inward and, and cultivating your energy and your creativity And your wisdom and your light and not seek answers or validation or answers or um, solutions on the outside and definitely not do any blaming because this is also has to do with like when we look at the outside so much and our sense of self is expressed through mostly the communication that we have with the exterior world so we can either give someone credit for something good that happened to us but we will also tend to point fingers and blame this is the um, um, let's just say there's no room for blaming excusing you are not the sum of your circumstances Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. You are if you make yourself as such. If you value yourself or make decisions or behave in accordance to, you know, in a way that is leveled with your circumstances, be good or bad, then you are only as good as your luck and you are, and you are only as bad as, you know, the chaotic energies that swirl around all of us, right? Being a warrior, a spiritual warrior, being a god, being a goddess, is not defeating the outside and analyzing your circumstances and reacting to those. But it's looking on the inside, being your best self, no matter what, no matter who, no matter what is going on. You are not what happens to you. You are what you do. Okay, Sag? And if you behave in accordance to your circumstances or in accordance to what people around you give or don't give you, then that's what you are. And how can you trust yourself? I mean, obviously you can't trust circumstances because we can't control everything. You don't control this universe. We can manifest, we can ask. But you can't manifest if you don't have energy to manifest with. You can't pretend to ask something from the universe 
if you're not worthy with your energy, with your intention. Neither of these beautiful individuals, creatures, is looking outside. The Empress looks straight at you and be like, mm-hmm. And she's looking within into her own instincts, her own desires, her own, um, you know, uh, what's the word? Her own demons as well. All of these characters, what do they have in common? Except for these two that are very grounded and very um, earthly and very, very reliable. All these characters looking outside towards someone else. What do you have to say? What do you think? What did he say? What will he do? How did, the, how did, how did he make me feel? But the only divine characters on the table looking straight forward Facing reality, facing creation, not making excuses and looking inward to their own beast and find a way to control and tame their own animal, not exterior animals. And then when you reach inner balance, because the strength and the empress have, they have a lot to teach us about inner balance. then the mundane balance will come, the harmony with your environment, the harmony with relationship, with your family member, with your coworkers, whatnot. Hashalom atchil betuchi, it's in Hebrew. Peace begins in me, with me, with my yin and yang. with my energies, with my elements. You cannot, you may not rely on anything exterior to bring you peace, harmony, balance, because then you will only constantly forever play the blaming game. You are the only one who is responsible for your actions. You are the only one who is responsible for your words. You are the only one who is responsible for who you are. If you are something, credit yourself. If you are nothing, credit yourself. We are not the sum of our circumstances. We are the sum of what we do with it. And whatever it is that goes on around you, whatever people are around you, how they behave with you, good, bad, whatever. As above, so below. As within, so without. So your exterior environment, people, life, circumstances are a copy base, a reflection of your inner environment, of your inner self. There's controversy and chaos within yourself. There will be controversy and chaos outside of yourself. The way to change your reality is to change yourself. No one else. Now, it reminds me of a story of, um, of a kid who would always um, bug his father to play. And his father was always so busy. He's like, not now, I'm busy. Not now, I'm busy. And the kid's like, what are you busy doing? And the father wouldn't say. And at one point, the father was like so tired of his kid, like 
nagging him. I want to play. I'm bored. I want to do this. So he's like, you know what? Here. And he took this big piece of paper. He tore it out to many, many pieces. It was a map of the world. And he put it on the floor and he's like, fix the puzzle. Fix the world. And the father thought it will take him a lot of time. First, because there were many pieces of paper and also it takes time to fix the world. But the kid came back after like five minutes and the picture was complete. It's perfect. With like tape, you know. The, the map of the world was really accurate. And the father looked at him and was like, how'd you do that? How'd you do it so fast? How the hell do you know where Asia is versus Europe versus America versus Africa and Australia and Antarctica? How did you fix the world? So the kid simply turned the picture upside down. He's like, well, in the back of the paper, there was pieces of the face of the man. And I know man. So I fixed the face of the man and then it fixed the world. We need to fix ourselves. We don't need to fix anybody else. When we fix ourselves, we fix the world. You think this mint plant thinks about how to fix the tree outside? It's just being as perfect as it can be. It spreads oxygen to the room, to the air takes the carbon dioxide that I breathe out, turns it into oxygen. So people breathe carbon dioxide at you. Don't be like, why are you breathing carbon dioxide at me? They're just being, just doing what nature tells them to do. Take that, you think, you think this mint is complaining on the carbon dioxide that I'm, no. Take your circumstances and the people around you, take their carbon dioxide, turn it into oxygen. Turn it into a benevolent energy that you can work with. Learn from it, grow from it, be grateful, and make the best you can from this. And this process of integration between carbon dioxide to oxygen, between alleged negative energy from the outside into something benevolent and creative, happens inside, in your own digestive system. one of my best works. Thank you, Sagittarius. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you your extended. Oh, did I tell you on October 10th, I'm having my first live Q&A um, where you guys can chat and ask questions and I'll answer your questions if they're inspiring and like, you know, make room for something to, for an answer to help other people who are on the chat and viewing. Um, I have a special for my private uh, reading, so you can see the information in the information box below. I have special prices for October. October is the 10th month of the year, duh, but it's also the 10th month of me doing the existential shift. Um, I'm hoping possibly to reach the 10,000 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed yet, this is the time to show me love, support, and that way you'll know about more videos if you like it. Um, so press the subs it's here, subscribe button. Um, and yeah, so in honors of that, on the 10th, on October 10th, I'm doing my first live q and I don't know the actual time yet. Uh, once I will know, I will pin it in the comments to all the videos. So just touch base, you know, in one of my videos, you'll have it in, in the upper part of the comment section. And also Tarot Masterclass. So the link is below if you want to learn tarot from me. How do I do what I do? And that's it. I think I told you to watch your other placements. And the month prior, did I tell you watch your reading of last month? Because that's how you learn and make the connections between the guidance and what end up happening and what you end up doing. Okay. So. King, king, king. Two knights. And majors, two majors. 
and okay. All right. So this is our extended. This is the first part of our extended. I'm sorry. We'll look at, into these two major arcanas. We'll talk about their lesson and what other narrative they might be bringing us. Um, we'll talk. We'll bring up a new narrative slash difference slash another narrative from these guys right here. Um, both of them looking at him. Both of them looking at him. Dun dun dun. Leader of the revolution. Yeah. And after this part, I will clean the table and make a new shuffle. And we'll have a Celtic cross reading, which is very different than the intuitive readings. We, it's very particular, like the placements are particular, the narrative is very particular. Um, so if you haven't um, resonated, you'll have the opportunity in the extended. And we'll also have, this will happen in a second, we will also have in the extended the, the finale message from Arun. Okay? All right. Akashic Tarot. They're so cool. I've been working with them the past week or two. I'm doing all the readings with them. And they're just... The Akashic Records, the entire this world of infinite knowledge and infinite library of all the knowledge that has ever been or nor will ever be in the universe. This this It's hard to phantom, but... To fathom, but... Phantom? Fathom? Whatever but it's mind-blowing. Okay. Akashic Records, please give us clear guidance for Sagittarius for the month of October. October for Sagittarius. Message for Sagittarius. I'm a Sag Seeker for October. Venus is retrograding in Scorpio. It's gonna get interesting. You already have a flair for drama, so uh, careful not to explode in the next month or two, Sag. You will be tempted. You will be dramatic. You will be going deeper into your subconscious and deeper into your fantasy realm and self-discovery, exterior discoveries. Keep your inner peace, your inner strength and balance. Don't do anything stupid. Don't explode. Fight your flair for drama. If it sounded in this entire video like I'm shading you or being harsh on you, my job is to help you. This is why I'm here. This is, this is what the cards gave me. This is what Spirit gave me. So this is what you needed to hear. Okay? Messages from the Akashic Records for Sagittarius. Too many cards. Just one. One clear, specific, accurate message from Sagittarius. Just one. Okay. Death, birth. We've been, I think this is the second time we've been getting it. Who else had it? I don't remember. Story time. Okay. Sorry, one second. There it is. Beth Earth. So, <laughs> the sun shines upon a plain in England where stands an ancient henge in the distance and a grove of birch trees nearby. Upon many of the trees is carved the old Celtic Ogham letter Baith, Beok, Belcano, which represents the birch tree and stands for birth. A beautiful woman walks forward carrying a basket while two children run happily towards her. With this card, it's time for a new start, perhaps an actual birth or at least a metaphorical one. An old phase is passing away and a new one begins. But even this new beginning, has its roots in your deepest histories and your past lives. There may be some labor involved, but it's a labor that bears fruit. This card is associated with fertility, um, the Empress card, by the way, sensuality, and motherhood. There may be new energy in a romance, the family, or the home. 
You could be giving birth to a creative project too. Whatever it is, celebrate. Prepare for the wonderful growth and opportunities that are about to come. Okay, it could be a birth of a creative idea, creative endeavor, um, great connections with family, uh, working on working on your uh, personal connections, and giving, giving birth to a new sense of self. And maybe going back a little bit to your childhood in your head and trying to kind of see the connections between, I'm just getting it now, between what happened then and how it is affecting you now, maybe the connection with the mother, because the element of the mother here is really um, relevant. How your um, childhood relationships, childhood connections with your family member, most especially mother, has affected in birthing your character and who who you are, what you are, how you describe yourself, how you behave. Um, that's a really good way of healing. Going back to childhood. I love this. Okay, Sagittarius, I will see you in a sec in your extended. Um, I will also see you in November. Happy Halloween. I might dress up for the uh, November readings at the end of October. I'm not promising. We'll see. Um, October 10th, live Q&A. Tarot Masterclass and personal reading information below in the information box. Read, press the read more and then the entire world will unfold. Uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for being here. And this is a great opportunity to, to subscribe if you haven't yet. Ciao for now.